Hi, welcome back to Leisure and Rec at Home. I'm Betsy and with me is Liam. And today we're going to be doing a very fun website that's also very creative. It is called Greetings Island. And with this, you're going to be making a thank you card. So let's focus on what we're going to learn today. So today, I will learn to create a thank you card so I can practice using my fine motor skills. You're going to be picking items. So using your um, mouse or touchpad and typing a message. This is going to be demonstrating creativity because every card is going to be different. I know when I got it is when I use the website to make a thank you card and I create something for someone else, okay? So when you're making a thank you card, it's always for someone else. In this case, we're gonna be making thank you cards for your case managers. So let's share the screen and I'll show you how to do this, okay? So as you see right here, these are all the instructions that you can find in the comments before um, below that has the link, okay? So the first direction is to go to greetingisland.com. So can you do that for me, Liam? So he's gonna click on that link, and then he's gonna click right there, yep. Yeah. And this is a really cool website because you can make cards for birthdays, weddings, congratulations, uh, sympathy cards, all kinds of different cards. So he went to, if you can point again, right up here, they have invitations where you can have an invitation for a special event that you can make, cards and calendars where you can make personalized calendars. But we're gonna go to cards and we're gonna go down to teacher appreciation. Good job. Now, as you can see here, there are three pages worth of cards. So this is the first page. We're gonna click on the second page. You scroll down that. Where oh, it's going to take a. Sometimes it takes a little bit, minute or two to load. But we got a bunch of cards there. You can choose from, and then keep on going down. And then we have page three that also has a bunch of cards. So we're going to go back to page one. And we're going to just pick one of the cards. So Liam's going to pick a card. He clicks on the card he likes. So once he gets to this screen, you're going to press the green button that says customize. Okay. Now what you're going to see, you bring it down, you're going to see the front of the card. The next thing you want to do is edit the inside. So over to the side here you can click on that or you can click on the top where it says inside either one of those yes so what we're going to do is you can either put a message and a picture or many pictures or just messages there's a lot of layouts here right can you Liam can you scroll down there yeah it's lots of different layouts where you can have a picture and words two picture and words it's your choice so we're gonna do this one. Liam's gonna click on it. Then we're gonna go first to the side to click on edit, te add text. Now the really cool thing about this is you can actually have some help coming up with a message. You can go to suggested messages. So once you go to suggested messages, you're gonna look down for thank you and click on thank you. Click on that one again. Thank you. There we go. And then you can click. There's a bunch of different messages to choose from. Yes. But you can choose whatever you like. So we're picking thanks, not just for what you do, but for being you. So click on that. And then underneath it, we're going to click. And this is where you can add your personal tab, uh, text. So I'm writing sincerely, Betsy, 
And the other cool thing is you can change the size of your text. You can change the color. Let's see, what color? What color do you think we should do, Liam? Uh, blue. Okay. So that's like a periwinkle blue. You can change the font. So what kind of font do you like? Oh, great. Okay. Oh, he's gonna look around, checking out all the cool fonts so it can look a little bit different. Okay, that's oh, perfect. I, I'm still looking. Oh, okay. Wait, is my computer? That one? Yeah. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to click on done. You see where the done is? Now on this side, we're going to add a picture. So we're going to click on that. And it says from Facebook or from your computer, we have some pictures on our computer already. So we're going to click on that. And then we are going to scroll down a little bit to find, keep on going, keep, oh, go over, oh, right there. Here. So we're going to pick that picture right there and then click open. See where it says open? There's our picture and you can kind of move it around a little bit to center it. Perfect. Next, we're going to add some text on the bottom. So we're gonna click there, we're gonna write, thanks. Now we can change once again, the, the color, the size, the font, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so, oh, it's up a, less, yeah, yeah, one up the, the very top one, yep. Yeah. So that was the same font. Wait, we have to make it a little. Yeah, we can make it bigger. So we're gonna move that over to as big as you want it to be. Okay, and done. So now the next thing you're gonna do is you either click the back button on the top, where it says back on the top, mm. or you can press the arrow to the side. Now on the back, you can add another, yeah, there's the arrow, very good. Now on the back, you can add either another picture and text, it's your choice, or you can leave that blank. So we're gonna add another picture. So click on add picture from my computer. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna find the picture, yep, that says me. Perfect. So click on that and click open. Great, and then in the text, click on the text box. And once again, you can write a little message or let's see, how about have a great summer. Oops. And it's when it shows you that, that it's all red, that tells you that it needs to be fixed. The spelling's wrong. All right, so once you click done on that, all right, now we go to the word next in green towards the top. We click on that and it gives you an option to print it, to download it, or to send online. So what we're doing for these cards is we're gonna send them online because all the teachers have their own um, email address. So you're gonna, you can preview on the bottom to see what your card looks like. So click on that and this is showing preview of what exactly that they're going to send. So click on, oh, there it is. Comes out of the envelope and it says click and drag to open. Oh, there's the inside of the card. And let's look at the back. Perfect. So do you think that looks good? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So we're going to close preview. That green button on the bottom. So now we're going to send via email. So we're going to click on that. And I'm going to, you're going to put in your name at the top. And then you're going to put in your email address. Oh, there's my email address. So next thing is 
we're going to go back to the page that we started on and go to the very bottom. This right here is our staff directory. And we're going to just pick the first person. So we're going to be clicking on Beth Babcock. And here's her email address. We're going to click on it, uh, right click on it, and then we're going to copy add uh, email address, go back to this, and then in here, we're going to paste. Okay. Now, the cool thing about this is if you have a morning um, teacher and an afternoon teacher, you can add both of them in here. So let's say I have Beth in the morning and in the afternoon I have Jane. So I have Jane's email address. I'm going to copy it. After that, you can click this box. It says, let me know when the card is picked up by one of the recipients, because you can add more email addresses on here. So let's see. I have Jane's email address on there too. So I'm going to click send. And it says your card has been sent. You'll get a copy in your email. And then you can send it again or you can look at the card again, it's your choice. So it's really fun, it's really easy, and it really would bring those teacher's days that helped you so much this school year. So I hope you try this out and have a wonderful day.